Hello everyone, I'm KNWA and Fox 24 Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff. Let's talk about the supermoon, and by the way, that is tomorrow, November 14th. Tonight is November 13th, it's the night before the supermoon. So let me give you all the details about this. First of all, the extra supermoon is coming on Monday, and the reason it's going to be an extra supermoon is this moon is going to be one of the closest in about 60 years and uh, now granted it's not going to make a huge difference in the viewing but it will be cool to see Lauren Johnston one of our producers got the supermoon over her apartment but did you notice that cloud cover in the picture there could be some clouds that could spoil the viewing as the moon sets in the western sky tomorrow morning I'll talk all about it so what makes a moon super well it has to deal with how close it is to the earth the closer it is to the earth the larger the moon will be and it actually is about 14% bigger and 30% brighter than an apogee moon, which is at its farthest point away from the Earth. And tomorrow's supermoon will occur very close to the exact time perigee takes place. So this is why some people are calling it the extra supermoon or this super duper moon. Now the full moon is going to be within 2 hours and 29 minutes of perigee, so pretty close to its closest point, which will be at 5.23 a.m., that moon is going to set in the west-northwest sky at 6.43 a.m. November 14th. So that's going to be the time to get out there and look about 6.30. And as the moon begins to set, it will appear rather large, especially with uh, landmarks and various objects in the foreground. That's also the best time to take photos if the cloud cover doesn't prevent, because we are expecting some clouds to roll in as a weak weather system uh, moves in and brings a little increase in cloud cover. Now the moon will become exactly 100% full. That happens at 752 when the moon drops below the horizon because obviously it sets around 643. The moon is going to rise in the east northeast sky. That will be another time to look at that full moon at 546. So if you want to know the times to get out there, it's going to be about 630 a.m. Look in the west northwest sky as it's setting or on Monday evening after sundown, which has the moon rising in the east-northeast sky opposite of where the sun is setting. That happens about a quarter to six. The closest distance that that moon will be from the Earth is approximately 356,523 kilometers. However, it's only going to be about 220 miles closer than the September 27, 2015 harvest lunar eclipse which was uh, the harvest moon which uh, happened to be the fourth blood moon so that's the latest on the super moon take some photos tomorrow get out in the morning get out in the evening you'll notice that the moon does look rather large but it's only going to be about 0.003 percent brighter than that harvest moon and cloud cover doesn't look like it's going to disappoint tomorrow evening tomorrow morning as that moon sets that may be an issue so enjoy the super moon take your photos use that hashtag supermoon and send them in